Hello everyone, welcome back to Lottie's Creations. Today I'm going to show you how I create my water bottle labels using Photoshop. I'm going to start with a new blank canvas by going to File, New. And I want to create a custom label. The inches, um, we're going to use 8.32 wide and we're going to do a 2.01 high. And when I hit OK, our canvas opens up and it is set up just right for our template to get started. Um, the first thing I want to do is go ahead and drag and drop in a background. Um, I do have some already saved that I'm going to be working from. You can search Google and download various backgrounds and PNG files to work from. Um, so now the background is here. What I'm going to do is go ahead and hold down the shift key and stretch my background image so that it fills my canvas. And holding the shift key will keep the image proportional. And then when I'm done, I hit enter to lock that in. So you see our background has already been added to our canvas. The next thing that I want to do is maybe add some header and footer um, design. So what I'm going to do is use my shape tool and get a basic rectangle. And I'm going to drag across the bottom to create a rectangle. And as you can see, it already filled with whatever four color that was set. So I'm going to go ahead and drop a pattern by double clicking in the layers to shape one. And I'm going to do a pattern overlay. And if I click on the drop down for my patterns, you can see some of the patterns that I already have saved. So I'm going to use a glitter effect. And I'm going to adjust the scale of how I want that glitter to look on the label. Okay, so about 61% and I hit OK. So you can see it has like a glitter effect along the bottom border. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and duplicate that shape and add that same item to the top by duplicating. And I'm going to call this top border. And I'm going to use my arrow to move that layer to the top. Okay, so I have my top border and my bottom border. And then what I like to do is add maybe some nutritional facts and give it a more realistic look. Now you can download from the internet um, basic birthday nutritional facts or baby shower nutritional labels. Um, I have downloaded one from the internet that I'm just gonna drag and drop in. Um, the first thing I wanna do is go ahead into my layers and click on that background layer. And I'm going to find my nutritional label and drag and drop it in. Now, once that label comes in, I do want to resize it to fit. And then I'm going to press enter to lock that in. So there's my nutritional facts. And then I want to go ahead and design the middle section of the label. This is going to be the front part of my water bottle. Um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and drop a shape here. I can use my shapes that are in the tools palette, but I do have one saved that I want to drag and drop in. And I'm just going to drag and drop that in. And then you can see that it did come in and it had a background around it. So what I'm going to do is come into my tools and I'm going to use my eraser. Now, if you click on the arrow that's at the bottom right of the eraser, you will see there's an eraser tool, there's a background eraser, and the magic eraser. I like to use the magic eraser. And what I'll do is basically click on that shape to rasterize it so that I can edit it. And I'm going to remove that background. Okay. And then I'm also going to change the color of this shape by using my paint bucket tool. Let's say I'm going to make it white. So I click on my paint bucket in the tools and I come to my swatches of colors and I use my little eyedropper to select the color that I would like to place into my shape. So I'm going to drop a white. Okay. 
And then I may also want to add a color or stroke around the outside of this shape. So what I can do is go into my layers and double click on that image that I just brought in. And this will open up our styles and different effects that you can use. And I'm going to use a stroke. So I'm going to go ahead and put a tick mark in the stroke. And it's here, the default color is going to be black but I can change that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that black. And if you hover over your image, you will see that you now have an eyedropper and you can choose any of the colors so that it's closely matched to what you already have in your color scheme. So I'm just gonna pick this purple. And as you can see, it did make the outline purple. And once I hit okay, I am gonna make it a little bit thicker so that you can see it a little better. So I'm just gonna drag the size handle to give it the thickness that I may want. Okay, and once I have it as thick as I like, I go ahead and hit okay. And there's my shape with the white background and my purple border. And I also want to place the unicorn here in the middle of this shape. So while I'm still on that shape, I'm gonna go into my images and choose my unicorn PNG file. Background has already been removed. And it comes in and what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and resize it to fit into that space. And again, I'm gonna hold the shift key while adjusting the image to keep it proportioned. And I'm just gonna kind of play around and move it where I like it to go. And once I press enter, it locks that image in for me. And now I have my unicorn head in my shape and one other thing that i want to do is go ahead and maybe add the birthday girl's name right here so i'm going to come over to my tools and use my text tool and i also will change the color right now it's white so i click on that and i choose a color and i'm going to choose this darker fuchsia from her flower and I'm gonna type out her name. Let's say her name is Juliana. And once I type that out, I'm gonna go ahead and say this is her first birthday. And to move that text, I'm gonna go ahead and click on my move tool in the tools palette and just kind of drag that where I like it to go. Okay, and then one other thing that I may want to do is add a stroke around the name as well. So I'm gonna go into my layers, double click on the text that I just created, select stroke, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on the color and change it. Right now it is black, but I may want to choose this little mint color. Okay, and I'm gonna also change the size of that stroke. And then I hit okay. I am gonna also go ahead and hit Control T to adjust the size and width of my text. I want it to fit a little closer into my shape. And then I press enter to lock that in. So there we have Juliana's first birthday. Now over on the left side of my label, I may wanna add a little message. Thank you for sharing this day with me. Thanks for coming to the party, etc. So what I need to do is go ahead and click back on my background layer. And I'm gonna put this inside of a shape. I'm just gonna use the basic rectangle and I'm going it to be white. And I'm just gonna go ahead and drag out a rectangle. All right. 
Now that rectangle automatically picked up the um, pattern overlay that I used previously. So what I'll do is go ahead and remove that by double clicking on that shape layer and taking away the check mark in front of pattern overlay and hitting OK. So there's my white box. And I'm just going to adjust it by moving it around a little. And I'm going to go ahead and add some text into that shape as well. And I want the shape to be the same color. I want the text to be the same color as the birthday girl's name. So I'm just going to type in thanks for making this day magical. And it did come in kind of large. So what I'll do is go ahead and adjust that size. And if you can tell, it is behind my shape. So the only thing I need to do in my layers palette is drag and drop that above shape. And then it comes to the forefront. And I'm going to adjust the size of that text. Right now it's 18, let's say maybe 14. And I'm going to drag it into perspective location. And I also want to add a stroke maybe around that text as well, just like I did with the birthday girl's name. So I'm going to double click in my layer, choose stroke, and it came in black, but I may want to use teal color. So what I'll do is go ahead and click on the flower to select the mint color and maybe change the point size a little more. And there you have it. Okay. And I do want to adjust my text and shape layer here. So I'm just going to move it around just a tad bit. And there is my water bottle label created. Um, now what I'll do is go ahead and save this as a PSD file so that it keeps my layers and I can come in and edit if I need to. And then I'll also save it as a JPEG so that I can print it as well. So I'll do file, save as. And I'm going to find a location where I want to save it. And then I will drop it into my folder called Unicorn, just to keep things a little more organized. All right, so I'm just going to call it New Unicorn Water Label and press Enter. And I go ahead and hit OK here. And now my PSD has been saved, so all of my layers will be re remained um, within this image. And then what I'll do is go ahead and say File, Save As, and then change the format from PSD, which is a Photoshop file, to a JPEG file. And then I hit OK to save it, and hit OK here. And if I were going to print this, I would send it over to my Silhouette Studio and send it over to my cutter to be print, uh, printed and cut so that I don't have to cut it by hand. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. If there's any questions, please add them to my comment section and I will answer them accordingly. Um, also, if there's any tutorials that you all would like for me to create or something that you have a question on, please feel free to post it and I will definitely try to make a tutorial for that as well. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.